Okay, Gen 1 fans, remember Meowth? Yeah, we all remember Meowth. Meowth was a pretty... okay Pokemon. It was good enough to use, and he talks like a stereotypical mobster. And to use them to take over the wild! Then, 4th Gen came around, and... Uh, okay, that looks pretty fucking familiar. Not very good though, but whatever. Then, 5th Gen came around, and sweet shitting Scutlets! Is that even possible? How do you rip off Glam Meow? A rip off of Meowth! Better yet, why? Just why? Purloin is lame. Its type is bad considering its weakness to primarily physical types, which is bad because its defenses are atrocious. Its move pool is very meh, and just like I touched upon, its stats are garbage. I already married their joke! While I respect and love Gen 5 to death, I have to ask, why are there so many weak Pokemon right at the start? Lillipup's the only one worth your time, so why do the others exist? Did we really need another cat and another rat? No, we didn't. Well, on the subject of cats and rats... <laughs> Did that have any relevance? Nope. Okay then. Also, we should really cover Lyper. Lyper's only strong point is its speed, but what's that good for when your base defense is 50? The only strategy a Lyper trainer can use is to spam the hell out of Sucker Punch the entire match. If you're looking for a good Gen 5 Dark type, look anywhere else. Every other Gen 5 Dark Time is more reliable than this pathetic little kitty. For a good Dark type, I recommend Crocodile or Scrafty. It's also really sad that Sharon has a Lyperd on his team. And keep in mind, this is the same dude that has a Gigalith and a Haxorus. Sure, these Pokemon are kinda cute, but face the facts, they're horrible in battle. Pikachu has had a huge number of knockoffs. Each one a rodent with electric cheeks. Bustle, Mayan, Pachiritsu, and the new one introduced in Gen 5, Emolga. While it's even worse at taking hits than Purloin and Lifeheart are, it has worse offensive stats than Patrat. And that's still not why it's so horrible. Even though Emolga is a poorly designed and poorly executed Pokemon, they made sure to give every trainer that has it double team. As if it wasn't bad enough, it has static! Yeah, why?! And guess what? No evolution! Even though Amolga has pretty good speed, here's why it sucks. It has worse defenses than Pachirisu. That is terrible. Why even bother with a Pikachu clone anyways, Game Freak? Are you making all these crappy Pikachu clones to make him look better? Well, it definitely works! Of course, every prior Pikachu clone has been mono-electric. But, Emoga is a dual electric and flying type. Why is this bad? Well, just the fact that its typing is the same as two legendary Pokemon, which alone makes it seem inferior, and it's now weak against ice and rock types. Personally, I'd rather have a single weakness than two of them. WHY?! You know, I think you can actually imagine what went down at Game Freak when this Pokemon was conceived. I'm sorry, Pikachu, but you are so successful, and every copy of you makes so much money. Yeah, that sounds right to me. <sighs> Chansey was the hardest Pokemon to catch in the original- No! Fuck the background, it's my turn to rage. Audino is easily the worst normal type in Gen 5. Its move pool is enormous, but that doesn't make up for shitty offensive stats. Audino is also a big fuck you to the player when they think that there's a good Pokemon in the wrestling grass. But no, we have this fucking thing. Audino doesn't even do its job well either. It's supposed to be a tanking supporter. But considering you find them so fucking often in single player, and most of their leveling up moves are supportive, there's no point to catching one! Besides, if you want a supporter, we'll go for Chansey. Not a rabbit-tailed, bell-eared elf with a Chansey skin jacket! Not only that, but he has no evolution. 
Are you shitting me? It's fucking horrible. Nah! Damn, dude, you made it in the mid- Why does everything you associate with never die? Because we're too fast for death. <laughs> Sweet Zeus one. Another bat? No. No, give me my shotgun. I hate these things. You do realize this is only the second line of bat Pokemon, right? That's not my beef with it. My beef with it is that it's a fucking swine up attached to a zoo bat. Like, are you kidding me? They just had to resort to the design of Rouge the Bat without cleavage. He can sure be a pain in the neck. Knock it off, Falco! These guys are fast! Well, you gotta admit, it speed's good? Well, look at Lipart and Amolga! They have good speed, and they got on this list, and you know what? These Bats deserve every bit of hate and rage I'm about to give them! Whoa, 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 dude. Just calm the hell down. We have sensitive viewers, you know. I don't want to calm down! Rage feels good! It feels like... <laughs> <sighs> Alright, do your thing. These things' stats, other than speed, are mediocre at best. Their offensive stats are pathetic, and even though they probably wouldn't be defensive even if they were good, they are very, very frail. Their move pools are pathetic, and their designs, like I mentioned earlier, are just stupid. What's the point of attacking first when I won't do jack shit? Ugh, I am fury! Hey, that's my line. Not anymore! <laughs> you alright, man? Yeah, I think so. I'm the tree's apprentice and- Um, dude, that was only number two. What? Are you shitting me? No, it's the truth. <laughs> Recap, go! Number ten, Pat Rat. Number nine, I can swear, who would've thought that? Number eight, Stunfisk. Number seven, Ducklet. Number six, Rabutaberry. Number five, Rip Off Section. Number four, Emolga. Number three... DON'T SPEAK ITS NAME! And number two... The second we started constructing this list, there was only one Pokemon that could be number one. There was only one Pokemon that was so horrible, it had to get above Trubbish and Audino. And that Pokemon... is that fucking fish! Alamomola is the worst Unova Pokemon you can possibly have. Well, fuck. If this thing didn't look like an already shitty Pokemon, what does Alamomola remind you of? Another worthless Pokemon? Yeah, it looks just like Love Disk. So, cool. Love Disk gets an evolution this gen and is no longer- DOES NOT EVOLVE?! ARE YOU SHITTING ME?! Then what the hell does this thing evolve into? NOTHING?! THIS IS BULLSHIT! No evolution, and a deceiving appearance of an already horrible Pokemon. So, design-wise, this thing really pisses us off. Now you may be saying, But wait, it has a stat total of 470! <laughs> well, yeah, that doesn't seem too bad, but you've got it all wrong. That's correct that Alamomola does have a base stat total of 470, but let me level with you here. 165 of that is HP! The rest of it is very averagely distributed among its shit-stained stats, so it obviously fails in statistics. Oh, you thought that was it? You thought very, very wrong, foolish viewers. Alamomola has a crap load of HP, but it doesn't have any defensive stats to back up that HP. Its base special defense is 45! Aren't you supposed to be a healer? So, why the fuck is it designed as a supporting Pokemon if it can't do the job right? Just get a fucking wussy. Feed this abomination to the Sharpedos! Overall, Alamomola's only redeeming factor is that its name is a palindrome. Everything else about this Pokemon is a gigantic, putrid, ugly, mediocre, deceitful pile of suck! It's also really sad that Alamomola was the first you know a Pokemon that Ash saw. That's fucking sad. The best word to describe Alamomola is a lie. It fools you into thinking it's the evolved form of Love Disk, 
It fools you with that base stat total, where half of it doesn't even matter, and it fails as a supporter, despite being called the caring Pokemon. I'm the Tree's Apprentice, and I'm Fawful's Minion, and Alamomola is the worst you know of Pokemon you can possibly have. Fucking thing sucks!